Hey everyone, this is Ober and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So here we have the battle line on top. Uh, and it's also going to be Dr. Majum Tree. Well will be the next moon now, so the second moon of Joel. And well it's kinda cyan colored and well it looks a bit like a cross between moon and Minmus, but it actually has higher gravity. So about the lander, well it has a fuel tank in the middle with an LV99 engine and uh, six yes, yeah, six detachable tanks along the edge. Four of them have the tiny Rockomax engines, just to give them a little bit more first. There we go. Where, where was I? Right, not letting this overheat. I am paying attention to that. Um, right, well, I guess I did overcomplicate it a little bit. I mean, I could have just made the center tank bigger, it added a bigger rocket, but yeah, why do things simple if you can do them complicated, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the thing one of my math teachers used to say. Kind of took his advice to heart. <laughs> well, anyway, the other thing is that with it being more efficient, it can just simply return on its own without having to go back to life and refueling. But yeah, pretty much a standard descent right now, so I'll see you when I'm in orbit.
Oh, what fun it is docking this. Yeah, uh, the RCS ports on the actual lander. And it still has a giant full fuel tank, well, almost full fuel tank at the back. So, yeah. <laughs> that is a pain in the ass to dock. So if I go uh, up or down or whatever, and I try to counter this with RCS, it's just gonna make me pitch, which have to counteract again then with the reaction wheels. Uh, hmm. Well, I almost got it done now already. So, hmm. I think anyway. Um. Well, now I'm too high again. Or am I? Hmm. Now I think I'm going down. Yeah, I'm going down. A little bit. Oh, I'm off to the side as well. <laughs> uh. Yeah, honestly, docking is easy. If you have the RCS ports in the right way. Uh. Unlike me. Well, I guess it isn't hard either. It's just annoying. <laughs> uh. Right. Uh. To the side again. Get over there. And I can just see the tail lagging behind. I mean, the fuel tank. The tail. It's a rocket. It doesn't have a tail. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean. Um, hmm. Well, now I'm aligned with it, but I'm still going up. I think. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> if I go up, I should be aligned, right? Okay, now down again? Not too far. Come on. What about the sides? Oh. No. Hmm. That's good. Oh, it's pulling. Oh, yay! <laughs> well, there's that done. Right, back after 10 minutes of messing with maneuver nodes. Now let's throttle up slowly. I don't want to wake the Kraken again. Right, let's just. Turn it towards it. Oh. Yeah, not the most solid connection. Gotta be a bit careful. We don't want to smash it into the tanks. Alright, that's about right. SAS on. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, SAS off, maybe? Uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, this is gonna explode in any second. Oh, no. <laughs> I no uh, what the hell? I put myself into an elliptical orbit with the periapsis on the injection angle. And yeah, it's still gonna be 19 minutes. That's with the apoapsis being near the edge of current influence. That's a nice view.
like how it looks like I'm about to crash into the planet. But no. There is another thing though, I actually had to raise the periapsis a little bit so I don't just crash into the atmosphere while doing this build. just after the first error breaking maneuver which for some reason didn't record um, let's just say Bill and Bob had a nap and they only realized after it happened because uh, the g-forces smacked them against the wall or something anyway uh, I now <laughs> separated the valve lander from the lathe shuttle and its drive section so I can put the lathe shuttle into a lower orbit to go to lathe and it didn't really take a long time to get an encounter after that either. As you can see, I'm already coming in here now. And there we go. Nice glow there. And soon I'm gonna be in lay forward. Of course, it being live, things go a little bit crazy again, <laughs> and it starts to spin. I don't know why that keeps happening. Uh, I guess it has a problem with uh, the lifting surfaces. I guess I was lucky that I didn't get the Kraken bug again. Anyway, after I put that in orbit, I turn my attention back to the valve lander, which is currently uh, error breaking in Jules' atmosphere, and just doing that gets it a valve encounter well it kinda did and soon it won't because it's still in the atmosphere yeah there yeah, it's gone again so I am going to have to burn progress a little bit more again to get it back there Pretty lucky there as well with having the ascending node out there right near the apparatus close to my encounter to Val. Being so far away from Joel out here in the slow part of the orbit allows me to get into an equatorial orbit of Val using less fuel than 
if I had the uh, nodes closer to dual. Right, as you can see, I'm coming in for Val here. And let's do a little test run. Alright, um, so I set up this maneuver node that will bring me into barely an orbit. And it's going to take 5 minutes 23 seconds, if it's accurate, which I hope it is. But yeah, sometimes those aren't. Well, that's uh, not a, well, I wouldn't say a long burn, but burn is long enough that I wouldn't be able to think of anything to say. So, yeah. <laughs> See you in a second. Well, um, I've been in a couple of orbits around Val now, or at least I think I was. I was just looking at it really with my camera instead of looking at the spacecraft while orbiting. But yeah, anyway, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary on it, so I think I'm just gonna land somewhere random anyway, really. Well, probably not on top of a mountain. Alright, um, let's see, everything we fueled, yep. Just make sure I'm controlling the right thing and undock. Let's push ourselves away. Okay. Not good. It kept the maneuver node. I mean, I guess I don't need it. <laughs> I could just point retrograde and burn, but yeah, whatever. Hold on a 
second, what? Um, oh, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm more wrong. I'm on the wrong part of the orbit still. <laughs> yeah, right. Never mind. Good thing I have maneuver nodes. Uh, well, I'm well clear of it now. Let me just time out to my maneuver note then. Some pretty big mountains. Oh, oh those are these. Hmm. Yeah, it's getting more detailed as we get closer. <laughs> Green, I mean. All right, let's fire up those engines. Ah, wrong button. There, are those. Just using the. LV909 because it's more efficient than the other ones. That's why I didn't want the others. I mean, I, th I think, yeah, I am going to need them to land. Well, maybe not even that. Maybe I would just have enough fuel burned off by that point already anyway, but I mean, why not? They're not that heavy. That's their biggest strong point, really. The um, you know, the tiny Rocker Max engines. They're so light. The, the ISP isn't the best, but it's it's pretty good for you know in comparison to the other small engines, and it's still pretty light. That's actually a pretty good engine for probes and stuff, or just a light lander. Mm. So those dark areas flat. Well, not quite, I think, but more flat than the other ones, the whatever that is. Is that ice? No, I don't know. Hmm. It does have this odd cyan color. Not sure why a planet would have that color, but a Minmus does have it too. It does look like a giant version of Minmus, really. There's going to be some transferring of fuel with the, some of the outer tanks as well. The ones that don't have any engines on them, of course. The other ones too, probably. I think the inner tank will... Eh. Yeah, the inner tank will drain first. I mean, it's a bigger tank, but it also has a bigger engine on it. But that should be well after the landing. Right, just getting used to the controls. That's not what I want to do while I'm already landing. <laughs> hmm. Still going a bit further, so you know, I still have enough room later because I'm gonna have to break, and that's gonna make me dr drop down further. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> It's gonna make that arc shorter, so I'm setting up, setting it up to overshoot a little bit. 
Ah, well, this brings back memories from the first moon landing. <laughs> ah. yeah, just so no one I'm going to cross over this bit. was dark for a second. Oh, that mountain. Yeah, it seems like the dark area is flatter. I figured as much. Quite nice mountain right there, though. Hmm. be a little bit much. Y you can't really make a maneuver now to land. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. It's pointless anyway, I mean, you can't go messing around in the map view while you're trying to land. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna stop this. I should stop now. engine may be more efficient, but if I have to hover around too long, burning against gravity, it's not going to be efficient either, so I guess that's, that's a kind of pointless thing to do. <laughs> Besides, I'm still coming in pretty fast. There's that mountain. Well, the other mountain, anyway. Um, radar altimeter. Yeah, that doesn't. I really wish you could see the radar altimeter from the outside as well. I think that'd be really useful. Right. Just those down. 
I mean, how does that make any sense anyway? Why would it, this thing measure sea altitude on other planets? Especially if they don't have any atmosphere. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's me. I like overthinking things. Just a game. Well, I guess I don't need to break quite that much. Well, I can see the ground scan. Mm. No shadow yet. Yeah, now I'm a bit too fast, I think. So I'm waiting for the fast. Uh. Decisiveness, please don't kill me. <laughs> Uh, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, oh, there's the shadow. Alright, here comes the fun part. Um... Uh, <laughs> where, where did the shadow go? Oh, there it is again. What? Well, whatever. I can see the ground now, that's fine. Okay, slow down a bit more. Ooh. Going a little bit sideways. Not so much now. Two meters per second, that's not bad. No, don't go sideways. Ugh. And... There we go. Ah, awesome. <laughs> I congratulate myself. Nice landing. <laughs> ah. Right, um... Well... Let's get them out, I guess. Hmm. There's just a tiny bit of fuel left in that one tank, uh, one of the detachable tanks that still has an engine on it. That could have been annoying if that failed the exact moment I come down. Well... Hmm. Which one should I bring out first? I think last time it was Bob, so... Yeah, let's go with Bill this time. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah. Those little guys. They're funny. It doesn't matter where the sun is. I think the sun is right above. I was just thinking about which way to plant the flag that you can actually see what's on it. But who cares? <laughs> uh, I mean, won't let me look. The oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, it won't matter then. Plant flag. And he turns around anyway and does it the way he wants to do it. Um, well, um, first landing on Val, I guess.
<laughs> uh, well, we're on the moon. Not our moon. What do we do? <laughs> now we're finally here, we don't know what to do. Well, I guess we'll just um, investigate a rock. Yeah, um, that is a rock. Oh wait, that's not how it works. L? Yeah, okay. Well, there we go. It's it's a rock. Fascinating, eh? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I think that was enough for today. So, thank you all for watching, and see everybody.